The Russian figure skater Kamila Valieva has been cleared to compete at the Winter Olympics despite failing a drugs test in December. But the Court of Arbitration in Sport ruled there are exceptional circumstances to allow the 15-year-old to continue. Our sports editor Andy Rabini has been following the case and joins me now in the studio. Uh, Andy, she's free to uh, continue delighting the crowds with those uh, high-flying jumps. Uh, are you surprised by this verdict? Well, I am, actually. I thought this decision would uh, go the other way. It's hard to think that an athlete who has tested positive for a banned substance will be able to compete at the Olympics. But this uh, situation is more complex due to Valieva's age. She's only 15, so there is a duty of care over her. Now, the Court of Arbitration for Sport ultimately decided to protect her, saying that a suspension could cause her irreparable harm. The banned substance Valieva uh, tested positive for is called trimetazidine. And it's typically used to treat heart problems but it can also be used to uh, to boost blood flow in the body in other words it increases an athlete's endurance it was added to WADA's list of prohibited substances back in 2014 now could Valieva have decided on her own to take this banned substance I personally doubt it which means that there's a good chance that third parties are involved and so what reaction has there been from this there's been a few reactions uh, the Canadian Olympic Committee president said she was extremely disappointing with this result also Tara Lipinski who's an American uh, uh, gold medal winner or former uh, gold winner took to Twitter saying that uh, regardless of Valieva's age she believed that this would leave a permanent scar on the sport but on the other hand you have a lot of people on social media defending Valieva reminding others that she's only 15 how could she have known what banned substance to take where to get this banned substance so as you can see this story is very divisive so does this effectively draw a line under this case now. What's going to happen next? Well, we're now waiting for the results of the B samples, but I, I doubt we'll get more clarity before the end of the Games. Now, in the meantime, WADA, the World Anti-Doping Agency, is looking uh, into her entourage, doctors, uh, physios, coaches, and whether or not Valie uh, Valieva goes on to take gold in tomorrow's event. This is not a good look for Russia. They're already banned for a major doping scandal, which you and I spoke loads about on this set, and it's uh, not competing under its real name. It's competing under the Russian Olympic Committee in Beijing. So uh, again, more controversy surrounding Russia and doping.